Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to Speed Build Sunday. So today I have a pretty big plot twist for all of you. Um, for a start, it's actually Saturday, not Sunday, but secondly, and probably more noticeably, it's not Kayla. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell by like the accent or just, you know, the general difference in the voice that you guys are so used to hearing. Uh, Lil Simsy is absent today. Uh, I don't know if you guys like heard, but uh, she went to Sims camp recently and when she got back, she ended up being full of a cold. So yeah, I decided to offer myself up and do this commentary for her. And she, for some reason, decided to let me take over her channel, which is wild. <laughs> That's some mad trust right there. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm taking the reins today. So yeah, if you guys don't know who I am, uh, I am Rochelle, otherwise known as Kiwi Simming, and I am a fellow Twitch streamer slash YouTuber that plays a lot of The Sims, and I'm a very dear friend of Kayla's, and I'm taking care of things today. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, this is a temporary thing, of course. Kayla will be back tomorrow, so if you miss her, uh, she'll be there tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. She's currently at TwitchCon, so I don't know when she's like uploading, but yeah. She'll be back, don't you worry. This is not a permanent thing. <laughs> you'll only get to hear my scrawny accent, just just this one video, and then you're free, okay? Just bear with me. Uh, if you have to, go ahead and mute the video and just <laughs> listen to your own music and watch the video, but just listen. This is a one-off, I promise. But anyway, I really don't know what we're doing today. Uh, I haven't actually watched the video of this apartment through yet. So yeah, not entirely sure what we're doing here. It's going to be a ride. We're going to experience this together. This kind of feels like, you know, watching a movie with a friend. <laughs> like, you don't know what's going to happen. You're, like, in it together. And, you know, when new things happen, you're like, whoa, that happened. And, like, it's not like one of you was prepared for it, you know? Like, you both went into it blindly. That's kind of what we're experiencing right now, I think. Yeah, it's quite cute. This feels like a nice friendship thing. I feel like we're bonding. Since we're bonding, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, Kayla. I'm not going to sit here and plug myself throughout this entire video. I promise. Anyway. Yeah, I don't really have a game plan for this commentary. I'm kind of just going to, you know, ramble my way through this because that's what I do best. Um, I can't really talk about the apartment and what we're doing in the apartment because I actually have absolutely no idea what we're doing. As mentioned before, I have not watched this video through and I did not ask for any information about this apartment before I decided to do this commentary. She just kind of told me that we're doing an apartment and it has to go up for Saturday. And that's like, that's all I know. So, yep, I am i can't talk about the apartment. I'm sorry if you're like one of those people that enjoys hearing about like apartments and stuff, like what's going on in the build. But uh, I can't provide you that today. <laughs> Although, uh, Kayla and I are very similar in the sense that we both ramble quite a lot, so I'm pretty sure you guys are used to this. I do think Kayla is a better rambler than I am because she does have far better stories to tell than I do. I actually don't even really have a story planned for all of you. I'm literally just going to, like, waffle my way through this commentary. Uh, I wish I had a story, but, like, unfortunately, the most interesting thing that happened to me today was I became a saxophone on my Twitch stream, but... I don't think you need to, like, hear about that. <laughs> I just turned into a saxophone momentarily and, you know, that that's not interesting content, okay? Kayla's good at telling stories. I'm not good at telling stories. Kayla has a lot of stories because Kayla leaves her house. Uh, you know, she flies across the freaking world and stuff like this. I don't get any of that, okay? I'm stuck in my office all day, every day, and I have never left my country or been on a plane. So, yeah, that that's where we have some differences ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yeah, a little more insight into myself for those of you who are interested. Like I said, I am a Twitch streamer and a YouTuber. I'm sure my links will be in the description down below. Go ahead and drop a follow. I'm 3,000 subscribers away from like 50k, so let's go, baby. Um, that was on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> Just ask 3,000 people to subscribe to me on Twitch. That's not what I'm doing, I promise. I meant YouTube, I swear. <laughs> um, I'm from New Zealand. I don't know if you could tell that by the accent, but um, yeah, not Australian. Uh, I have a lot of people assume that I'm Australian. And for some reason, when I'm streaming on Twitch, I have a lot of people come in and think I'm from the UK. That one I don't understand. Australia, I kind of understand. Because, like, even when I'm watching YouTube videos on my own and I come across, like, an Australian and New Zealand YouTuber, I genuinely, like, I have to go into their about section on their channel and I need to, like, see their location to figure out where they're from because I, a New Zealander, can't even tell the difference between a um, New Zealand and Australian accent, which is kind of concerning. 
but unfortunately very true. <laughs> so, I mean, like, Australian, I understand, but I don't think I sound anything like a person from the UK. Why do people think I'm from the UK? Do I sound like I'm from the UK? I don't sound like I'm from the UK. Um, oh, also, I forgot to throw this out in the beginning of the video. Uh, I am a little nervous, so if I'm umming and ahhing a lot, please don't mind me. The reason I'm nervous is because I personally am not a family-friendly streamer <laughs> or like content creator. I'm just not a family-friendly person. I'm like, I'm getting better. I used to be really, really bad. I used to cuss all the time, like literally every single sentence. I would like drop an, drop an F-bomb, sorry. Um, I've gotten a lot better. I'd like to say I'm about 85% family friendly now by this point, but there are still times where I drop out the occasional swear word. And yeah, I'm trying to like make sure that I don't do that on this video because obviously Kayla is a family friendly content creator. You can't swear on family friendly co content creators content. That was a lot of freaking C's. So yeah, I'm quite wary of that, which is making me a little nervous because I don't want to like accidentally drop a, a naughty word out because uh, I don't edit vid like the eh, I don't edit voiceovers <laughs> like Kayla that that's staying in. OK, I'm a one take voiceover gal. I have never been one to edit my voiceovers. I like to just be raw and be open. OK, everything that comes out of my mouth that's going into the video. So I'm sorry, Kayla, for the potential trash that is going up on your channel right now. <laughs> My sincerest apologies. Uh, I love you. I'm sure your community love you enough to forgive you for this as well. Uh, yeah, guys, just um, please reassure her in the comment section down below that uh, everything is fine. Uh, you will remain supportive of her. You just don't like me very much. Don't say that, actually. I'm going to read the comments of this video and I don't want people to be mean to me. I'll block all of you. <laughs> don't be mean. I have a fragile ego. Actually, no, I don't. I've become quite thick skinned. I used to um, get really sensitive towards like people not liking me on the internet, especially when I was like, not tiny on YouTube, but when I gained about, once I hit about 10,000 subscribers, that was kind of when I started to, um, you know, get people being mean to me a lot. And it really hurt to begin with, actually. I was um, a bit of a softy when it came to people being mean to me. Uh, I've gotten a lot better though. Uh, my skin is quite thick. I had, I actually featured on a hate blog on Tumblr last year and I didn't even care. So progress. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing good. Okay. I can handle the criticism, but I would also rather have my ego stroked. So please say nice things about me in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, it would be nice to have a scroll through and just, you know, have people say really lovely things about me. I, I'm, I'm a fragile soul. I say, I say literally after saying I have thick skin, I'm fragile. Yeah. I'm also indecisive. I don't know who I am. <laughs> Am I fragile? Am I like thick skinned? Who freaking knows? We'll find out on the day this video uploads. If I like read a comment and get upset about it, I guess I'm sensitive that day. We'll see how we go. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> no, but um, I was going to say something and I can't remember what it was. I have lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. I was going to mention my, um, how I got featured on that hate blog last year. Can you guys believe? Okay. I made it onto a popular Tumblr hate blog last year. And ironically enough, the reason I went on to that blog or like the reason I was being talked about on that blog was because I was being accused of being a clout seeker by being friends with Kayla. And it's extremely ironic because here I am recording a commentary on her channel right now. <laughs> Gaining clout, you know what I'm saying? That's the only reason I'm doing this. I'm not actually doing this because I love Kayla and I want her to rest and I'm a good friend and because I think it would be funny. Um, I'm doing it for clout. So, hey, Tumblr hate blog, you hit the nail on the head with that one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I should clarify. I, I don't know how many people will like take that seriously. I'm sure you won't. Uh, but that was a joke. I can guarantee I am not doing this for, um, <laughs> for my own gain. Okay. But yeah, I was accused of being that last year and like, that annoyed me, but like, I wasn't upset about it or anything, which was nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny though. Cause like, I mean, that's never been why I befriended, befriended Kayla. I befriended Kayla because, um, I feel like we're very similar and the more we've gotten to know each other and the more we've talked, uh, we have, you know, realized that that is in fact extremely true and sometimes annoyingly true. Um, yeah. And just to have someone say that, and then like just to be here today, like recording on her channel, it's just, it's funny to me. I, I thoroughly enjoy that. But yeah, please be assured, I'm not a clout seeking 
bad word. It was a bad word that they mentioned, but I, you know, left that out because I knew this was a family friendly thing. Anyway, yeah, I'm not that. And we're done with the commentary, okay? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big fat thumbs up for Kayla. She appreciates you so, so much. And she will be back tomorrow, okay? Get ready for it. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed having me here. Uh, love you so much. Yeah, of course, I will not see you next time because this isn't my channel. But hey, go subscribe to me. Love you. Bye. Ugh, thank God she's gone, am I right, you guys? Sorry I had to deal with her today. I mean, I just, she's the worst, I know. Never again will you ever have to see her face here, I promise. Well, hopefully, because I don't want to be dying anymore. Please help me, I'm not okay.